Come on. Just like old times, huh? You could say that. So now what? We head to the creepy old monastery. What else? There's Schaefer. Damn it. What's happening? Lazarvish has him. Oh no. Ugh. You ready for this? As I'll ever be. Almost there. You got it? Uh-huh. Right, quietly now. Come on. Nice view. Men. No, no, I was talking about the mountains. Really. Come on. Yeah, he's still got it in him to, to crack a joke. Even in the face of adversity. You gotta love that. But yeah, I'm just uh, relieved to have got that entire section out of the way. Obviously it's not gonna get any easier, but... Oh boy. Who hasn't checked in? The last truck never arrived. Keep an eye out. Hopefully you can pull a quick one on this guy. Okay. Where is everyone? They went with Lazarevich. He took the old man into the monastery. Okay, that was pretty smooth. Where's his gun? Okay. Um. So yeah, this is like pretty much the final section of the game, I would say. And as these things tend to do, it's going to end in a monastery. And these two don't look like they're turning around, so if that happens, stealth's not an option. Yeah. Because as I approach one, the other one's going to see, so I've got to shoot him. Oh, where did you come from? Bitch. Kitty got wet. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Obviously, Lazarevich seems to be keeping Schaefer alive because he probably still has some relevant information. It's up this way. Because he doesn't really seem like the kind of guy who would give a shit about something like that unless it was something he needed. Yeah. Th to be honest, I love using crossbow type weapons Careful. normally, but soldiers. They haven't seen us yet. Hang back, I'll take these guys out. I haven't been too happy with the crossbow in this game. Um If I could just Okay. That's what I wanted to do. I can at least pull this guy over the edge. Shit. Ah, bastard. If he didn't move, I would have been able to get him. Whoa, don't climb up. <laughs> I can actually see a treasure there, gleaming. Ah, there you go. Oh, man. 
yeah, so it's strange that I fell last time when I pressed circle, because I, I pressed uh, X to kind of grab the, the ledge again, but just um, fell to my death. No, this way. Good stuff. Ooh, that was nasty. Alright, stealth has been successful so far. But I think I've kind of reached the limits of how much I can stealth this bit. I'm probably going to be seen any second now. I can just feel it. Yep. Why am I not surprised at all? So yeah, a few stealth attempts later it didn't work, so fuck it. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Where we just take these motherfuckers out. He's too far away from it. But... Okay, big guys here. Yeah, we're dealing with it just fine. Instead of wasting like 20 minutes trying to stealth this thing properly, I might as well just go fast. need to deal with this guy. I'll just die. See, it wasn't that hard, was it? I think I'm just uh, in this game. I'm going to have to abandon my stealth attempts and just um, and just dive straight into these areas because, especially in an area this crowded. I mean, okay, if there's only three or four people, then it's not so bad. But uh, in this area, I probably would have had no chance to stealth it unless I spent hours trying to plan out the perfect route. So. So yeah. I think that ended up saving me time in, in the long run. The first time I actually tried to go through without using stealth, easy as pie. Right. Alright, I see, I see. I'm going to have to get close enough to chuck a grenade into his lap. Um, I can probably use that, that wooden cart as cover, actually. That sounds like a plan. Yep. How far can I take it? About here. Damn it, they're on both sides. Okay. Let go. Slightly better angle to take this guy down. Luckily, I have plenty of bullets. Oh, fuck. Actually, I forgot my sensitivity has gone up again. I'll leave it in the middle for now. Be able to get closer to the to the turret now. Oh, how do you, Oh shit, they're right here. And an armored guy. Shit. Okay, I don't want to deal with him. I don't 
don't think Elaine is being too much help this time around. Oh, you're a bitch. Take this guy out, he's annoying me. Okay. So now has my path cleared to the turret. Alright, I'm gonna throw one right here. Okay, who else is left? Oh, he threw it in my fucking face! How did he manage that? I'm still... Oh, someone got back in the turret. That's cool. Damn it. Turret now, bitch. Go, go. This is tough. I'm still going to make use of this as much as I can, especially with these three. I should have enough bullets to take them all out. All clear. Whew. Thank God for that. That was pretty intense. There is going to be no let up until the end of this game. So I need to be ready. Oh shit. No. Give me the M4. There we go. 160 bullets. Would have liked some grenades, but can't have everything. Right. Let's move on. It's a long way down. Looks like that beam's the only way across. What beam? I think I see a rope down there. Okay, sit tight. I'll go down there and throw oh, it up to okay. you. Right. Let's head down there then. just have to love these conveniently placed random bits of stuff. Whoa. I actually quite like what um, Tomb Raider did with that, where you have to, there's a button prompt that you have to press. Shit. And if you don't make it in time, you actually fall off the edge. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Well, here's the rope. Catch! Got it! Good girl. Okay. I always get nervous when having to cross fragile things like this. Right, follow oh. me! All you have to have is one sentry posted here and you're done. You can protect your entire base by having three people here. That's it. Because this beam goes, there is no way even Drake is going across there. Maybe through here, but I mean, that's a waterfall, it's going to be too tough. 
So yeah, that is the way to stop Drake from getting into this place. Very easy. But, you know, they must have uh, overlooked that one. It's like the longest spell of non-combat we've had in about an hour. I've been recording for an hour, but I probably have like 40 minutes of content when you factor in the fails. You're going to have to jump for it. I'll catch you. Okay. I get you. There. There. See? No sweat. Right, this thing looks like it can be pushed. Come on, over here. Okay. Why is his gun out? Give me a hand. We'll push it. That's it. Whew. Hey, we can climb up this thing now. Come on. I was I thought maybe it was gonna reveal some kind of open some kind of door, but that also Be works. Be careful. God knows how old these boards are. <sighs> well, she's already gone. Hey, I found a rope. Them? Damn it. Come on, we've got to hurry. Bit there's something around here. And obviously now that we're in a, a monastery, you know, from from the Far East, <laughs> it's obviously gonna draw even more similarities with Tomb Raider. Monastery high up in the mountains. Well, I mean, forget Nate making that jump. Even Elena making that jump is pretty miraculous. So yeah, while we have a little lull here, I might as well uh, get a little bit of discussion going with the with the people that like to comment on these videos. What do you guys make of the uh, new announcement for Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes? From what we hear, it's apparently it's only about a two-hour game. And they're trying to charge about thirty pounds for the for the PS4 version, and around twenty for the PS3 version. It's locked. There's no way we're getting through here. Okay, I'll try to find another way around. Open it from the other side. You sit tight. All right, just try to be subtle. We don't want to attract any unnecessary attention. Subtle. Right. Got it. So yeah, as I was saying, I think uh, £20 for the, the PS3 version of, and £30 for the PS4 version is way too much for a two-hour game. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 4 had cutscenes as long as that game, so I don't think I agree with the pricing at all. But, you know, I'd like to get your thoughts on it and maybe we'll have a little bit of discussion going. But obviously, regardless of the price, because I'm a... A big Metal Gear fan, and obviously I need to record it for the channel. I'll be buying it, but I don't have a PS4 yet because there's not really anything on there that that I really want to play that badly that I can't play on PS3 or on PC. So I haven't really bothered too much at the moment. So if I do get it, it's likely to be the the PS3 version. So the quality would be a little bit less, but you know, I'm not going to pay 30 quid for what is effectively a demo. It's not even really DLC length. From, from what I've heard, so as much of a oh shit, that's gonna break. As much of a MGS fanboy as I am, that's uh, it's too much even for me. Whoa! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! It's a guard there. Okay, so you know the game said try and be subtle. So this time again, I'll make an attempt to stealth. But if after a few attempts it's not gonna work again, I will. Go back to my usual style. And to be honest, that that is that's Nate's style as well. He's not really the subtle kind of guy, is he? No, the wrong way. So yeah, especially, you know, with the PS4 not really having that many awesome games out at the moment for it, 
I think it would have been a good chance to get a lot of even new people involved with the with the MGS franchise to kind of price it more aggressively. But, you know, they're, they're sticking to their guns and I'm not sure it's going to work out too well for them. I mean, if you're not a fan of MGS, you are not going to pay that much money for it. And if you do, I think you're a bit of a fool. I mean, £30 for a two-hour game is just, uh, it's a rip-off. And to be honest, you shouldn't really be letting the, the, the developers do that to you. I mean, that's just... If a two-hour game is £40, then uh, £30, then I mean, like, a you know, a 15-hour full-on proper game should be, like, 100 So... I really don't agree with it.